And speaking of community feedback, we've heard a lot about shooting. And Mike Wang mentioned a little bit about what's going to be changing with shooting next year. Yeah. So shooting something that the community has been talking about all year long. I think ever since the introduction of green releases, a lot of fans have a lot of different kind of feedback about that. I think they've kind of learned to use it as a crutch. Like if I learn my release and I think the bar is filled up, I should make that shot 100% of the time. But we were seeing a lot of really high shooting percentages, high 60s, high 70s, even some of the high 80s and 90s in Pro-Am. I think when we start going forward into 2K18, I'm really glad that the producers are looking towards what made shooting fun and realistic in previous games. Because there has been a lot of, you know, differences in game by game on how shooting works. But I'm really excited to see what they come up with in 2K18 because I think we're going to see a lot of improvements there with shooting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, real quick. Uh, unless you've been under a rock lately or just been out of town like I have, man, uh, you've seen that uh, they're saying that people are relying too much on the on the bar and all of that good stuff, man. And uh, I'm not inclined to disagree because I've seen more good shooters in 2K this year than anywhere. So what they're saying is, I guess, is that people can time it perfectly. Uh, so... So what they're going to do is, what are they going to do? They're going to remove the bar? I don't know if they're going to remove the bar. I really don't know what they're saying they're going to do, right? But to get yourself ready for this, because I, I don't I keep seeing these people saying, well, I don't use the bar anyway, I don't use the bar anyway, I don't use the bar anyway. Well, you don't have to use the bar. But then the then the overwhelming excuse, and, and yes, I am giving away a Kevin Durant jersey uh, later. Uh, but the overwhelming excuse is, but I like to see the greens or whatever like that. Well, you can do like I do. Um, I mean, people keep saying that, but the only people I saw that do, do this last year was me, CL Pride, and Man Man Grindhard. And that was actually turn the bar off, but have it on feedback only. Um, you can do that. So if you really don't use the bar, and, and you really just want to see if you got a green or not, then uh, you can have the best of both worlds, man. All you got to do is go down here to options, you go to settings, and then you go to right here, shot meter. You can turn that bitch off. You can turn it to on, which is most of y'all need that because you need it to be on. Or you can put it on feedback only. Now, when you put it on feedback only, the only thing you're going to see is what you shot. So you're not going to see, oh my God, I don't need to see it. My mama text me. Um, you're not going to see, you won't see the bar going up. So you have to rely completely on on your shooting of the ball, right? Uh, on the bow mechanics or the mechanics of the player uh, at the top of the jump. Since that's what everybody's saying that they do anyway. I don't even use the bar anyway. I just like to see the green light. Well, if that's what you want, boom, that's what you got. You'll see what you shot, but at the same time, you won't be, you, we know you won't be relying on the bar. Now, I'm going to turn this mother son of a gun off for the rest of the green light. I'm going to turn this mother son of a gun off for the rest of the year. I'm not gonna use it anymore because I'm not gonna get accustomed to something and then they just completely take it away in the next game. Like I said, you can turn this, you can take the bar out the game for all I care. I mean, I really don't care. Mike Wong changed my shot every day anyway, so I don't. I really don't care. You can take it all the way out of the game. I'm just saying that if you really don't use it, like me, um, just go ahead. And this is my playmaker. This ain't even my sharpshooter. If you really don't use the bar, then just go ahead and turn it off. And then you can still get the green lights. So if you if you say that you really don't use it, it shouldn't be a problem. But I think that a lot of people, when they turn it off, they're going to realize how much they really do use that bar and how much they really do, do rely on it. I'm just trying to help you get ready for 2K18, man. This is the best way to do it right here. Turn the bar off. Go ahead and just get used to your jump shot. And it does feel like that it's more forgiving when you have the bar off anyway. Me and Pry was talking about that. Not me and Pry was talking about that. But Pry was saying that last year. Uh, in one of his videos, he was like, it seems like you get more greens when you turn it off, and it seems like you get more, um, it seems like you get more greens when you turn it off, and if you shoot with the shot stick, um, I don't think you get that feedback, but uh, it seems like you get more greens when you turn it off, and it's more forgiving, so like that right there, that wouldn't have gone in if I had the shot meter on, I promise you, the all white bricks, they never go in, but it is what it is, man, this is just a quick tip, a way for you to get ready for it, man, um, hopefully it helps somebody out, and like I said, to me, 
I used to turn the bar off because the bar was annoying. And then I just thought about it today. I was like, why don't I just turn it off? Because it is annoying because sometimes when you can't see it, I think what most people are going to find is they are using a combination of the bar and the player's mechanics because I used to do the same thing. But now that it's completely off, I can concentrate. You see these greens, man? I can concentrate completely on on the player shooting and I'm good. Anyway, man, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope it helped you out. Look at that, 18 out of 19 from the Dime Hardaway. Let's take one from the top. Cash, green bean, money team. Look, I told you, I don't need that thing, man. Oh, my bad, y'all can't see it. Y'all see this Kevin Durant jersey, right? 19 out of 20, man, probably had like 10, 15 greens. I don't know. But, uh, oh yeah, speaking of the Kevin Durant jersey, man, I'm giving this away once I get to 100 subs on Twitch. So y'all come on through, sub with Twitch Prime. Um, on Twitch and do whatever you got to do, man. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Get yourself ready for 2K18. Stop using that crutch, man. I'm turning mine off. Let's see how many people actually turn it off. I know man man gonna turn this off. I'm pretty sure Pride don't even have his on. We're gonna see how many people that really can shoot gonna turn it off. And I'm out. Peace. That was so fucking epic! <laughs>